back to uh, MyGunValues.com. As I've been promising forever, we finally got some range time in today. Uh, it's overcast and it's spit on us a couple of times, but hey, we got it going. Um, so the subject for right now is we have a Carl Gustav Model 1896 Swedish Mauser uh, built in 1917. And we're shooting factory uh, Privy Partisan 139 grain bullet ammunition over it and we're going to just take a few shots down range. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar, this is a cock on closing action. Most Americans are used to cock on opening, which I'll show you the difference when I, I've got the magazine loaded if you look here, but the bolt's open so it's safe. Um, I'll show you the difference after I shoot these cartridges. We will also shoot some, uh, some over the chronograph, just to give you an idea of the feet per second that this thing is putting out. And uh, then we've got some, uh, we'll give you the history on this uh, rifle when we're back in the loading room. But uh, we're, we're going to get the shooting in while the weather permits. So without further ado, aiming at the propane tank. I don't think I hit it. Let's try that again. Can you tell where it's hitting, Bill? High and to the left. High left, okay. Let's try this again. Never shot this gun before today, so... Okay, last one. I'm gonna start thinking I can't shoot. There we go. That got the top edge of it. Must be sighted in for about 200 yards. Okay, so anyway, cock on closing action, for those of you who are unfamiliar with it. When you bring it up here, it feels like the bolt doesn't want to go any farther. You have to really push and drop. You're actually cocking at that point. With most American rifles, and most rifles built in the last 80 years, 90 years, when you bring the bolt up, it cocks the firing pin. But on these, it cocks it as you close it. So now just to embarrass myself a little bit more, I'm going to load it back up and try again. I'm going to have to spend some time at the bench with this one, folks. That was a little high. All right, we'll get we'll get you back into the. Uh, uh, the loading room will give you the history of the rifle and what to look for on these. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back with you shortly.